So my very special guest today is a rapper, singer, songwriter, all around talented performer who has given us such hits like Komole, Mukulu, Give It To Me, Shake Body, amongst a host of others. You know who I'm talking about is S to the Gate, Scales, what up, what up? Shake Body. Them girls just they feel me now Cause I get some money then they feel me now ha. But then they do me anyhow I don't get some money they wanna get down ha. They won't hold me for ransom Cause I'm young and I'm rich and I'm handsome How you doing? Right. <laughs> you're just chill, swagged out, your sunglasses Just chilling like nothing can bother you right now Yeah, that's true I love it, I love so it Yay, welcome to EL Now So before we get into the music and all that good stuff I want us to take it back, take it way back so you got to tell us how you got the name Scales, because I know that's not what's on your passport. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> I used to be a music student back in um, secondary school. Mm -hmm. So, I, well, I used to be a mini genius <laughs> with like the manuscript, I knew how to read the musical scales and stuff like that. Uh -huh. And my surname was kind of hard for the teacher to pronounce. How do you say your last name? Because I can't say it. Njeng so Njeng. <laughs> well, so well, one day she was trying to call me and be like, hey, you, Mr. She wanted to call the name, but she couldn't remember the name. She was like, hey, you, Mr. Skills. And that was how the name followed me. You know how kids be like, yo, Skills, Skills, Skills. So the, name kept, the name was just ringing in my head every because okay. everybody kept on calling me Skills. And so when I decided to want to really do music like fully, I was looking for a name to give myself. And um, there were so many dumb names, actually. <laughs> so I was like, oh, skills. But nobody has skills. There was, I had to even go on Google. I'm like, okay, who else skills? <laughs> blah, 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 blah. And well, I decided to just give it a meaning because, like I said, I was kind of like a mini genius back then. And so I decided to change the S. Instead of S-C-A-L-E-S, mm -hmm. I just changed it to S-K-A-L-E-S. -E and I, gave, I turned them to acronyms, which stands for Sick Knowledge Acquired Large Entrepreneurial Skills. Ah, interesting. Yeah. Okay, I like that. Did anybody teach you how to read music or did it just kind of come naturally? Well, I was learning back then, but right now I'm not, I'm not interested anymore. Okay. I got sick and tired of the class and I stopped attending. <laughs> I changed, I switched class, classes right, actually. But, um, well, they were teaching me back then, but right now you don't need to be taught, it's just a talent. Mm. You, know, so. and okay. you don't need to read any musical scales or anything to be able to record a song. Right, like right. So, okay. Yeah. What were some of the other names you kind of played around with? You said you came up with some really oh, dumb pretty names. dumb names. Like Because that time I used to dig Bow Wow, like Lil Four Bow Wow. Um, so you're an only child. Yeah, only um, child. How did you entertain yourself as a kid? As a kid, I listened to a lot of music. I think that's why I fell in love with music. Because, mm. uh, well, my mom used to have like a CD store. And uh, as the only child, I was stuck with my mom. <laughs> <laughs> I was a handbag everywhere she goes, I go. <laughs> you get. So, um, well, I chilled in the store with her. and I listened to a lot of music, a lot of artists. And that was how I just fell in love with music. And, that's how I entertain myself. It's like I don't even watch TV. I feel like I miss my childhood because right? they, be, they be calling some cartoons and I'll be like, yo, really? You don't cartoon? Because the only one I know is the normal one, Tom and Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But. So no video games for you? You didn't like play yeah, outside? Um, I, didn't, I started playing video games when I was like 15, 16. Okay. Yeah. Baby, oh, baby, sweetie, oh, sweetie. Make your body just take on my body, oh. So I read the East Row with them, Jesse Jags and Cole, like back in the yeah, day, back yeah, in the back yeah. in the Justice. Yeah. How did you guys meet? How did you guys hook up? Um, well, um, when I finished secondary school, I got an admission into University of Joss. So I moved to Joss. And well, I used to do my music and stuff, so I kind of became a local champion in, Miami, <laughs> in my school, kind of famous. And I met Most Terry Most likely Drop. to succeed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I met uh, Terry, Terry Dropman, used to be like my mentor back in Kaduna then. So he kind of like, one day he was going to have a session with them, Emma and Jesse Jags, and he told me, why don't you come, let's go. That's how I we went to the studio, and Jesse Jags made us jump on one of his tracks back then. Uh, ben Down Low, man. We did a remix that never got out, actually. So it was me, Terry Dropman, Ice Prince, M.I. that were on the remix. I heard it, but it never got, got out. And I, I murdered it. So that's how we became friends. And 
and I was like, yo, always come through to the studio. Then that's how they linked me up with Jeremiah Yang. I was a little kid back then, I was like 16, 17, and I just got into university that time. So Coming up next on EO Now. And I just wanted to be by myself, because that way you're not tensed, you know what you're doing, you know it's just all about you right now. You get, I didn't want to be in that, should I say, in that crowd where, you know I mean, you're just, it's more like a competition, even though we're not competing. You get me? But whether we like it or not, it's kind of like we're competing. You get me? So now you're with uh, Baseline Records. Baseline, yeah. I feel like, you know, let's talk really quickly about making the transition from EME to, to Baseline. So yeah. did you see the exit from EME coming? Well, um, I wouldn't say I really, I didn't really see it, but in a way I kind of wish it happened. Because <laughs> yeah. okay. I wanted to get to a point where I could make my own decisions and say what I want and do what I want and take the consequences at the end of the day. You know what I mean? When you're bearing the consequences, you know you have to put in a lot of work. You know, you understand? Because you know that this is your only chance and your, 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 should I say more like your destiny is in your hands. You know what I mean? So basically, I really didn't expect it in the way I wanted it to happen. <laughs> so, okay. well, so you, we're, we're all good at the end of the day. Okay. So you feel like you didn't have creative control over your career? In a way, in a way, yeah. But then again, I just wanted to be by myself because that way you're not tensed. You know what you're doing. You know it's just all about you right now. You get. I didn't want to be in that. Should I say in that crowd where? You know I mean, you're just. It's more like a competition, even though we're not competing. You get me. But whether we like it or not, it's kind of like we're competing. You get me. Stuff. So I just wanted to be that man. I just wanted to be on my own, not be under anybody's shadow. You get. Cause I know if it's time to see you take off. Yeah. I like so how did you link up with Baseline Records? Oh Baseline well, music. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. Is is, is should I say is a crazy or funny story? Because um. Well, I went for this. I was busy pushing my song back then when I dropped it. That's Shake Body. And um. I went to this office. With they they in charge of the some countdown like a big countdown in the country. And um. Well, the boss heard that, that I was around, I was at the office, and he told me, yo, tell him to come upstairs to my office, and I went. And he was like, um, Che, you are no more with your former label, you're on your own now. I was like, yeah, that was your plan. What the? I'm like, okay, I mean, I need sponsors, this business, man. I just need people that want to put in money, and let's get this thing to the next level, because basically, I rebranded, and this is Scales 2.0, blah, 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 blah. And that was how it worked. We had plenty of meetings, you get me? <laughs> We had to convince each other that we wanted to work with each other and get and stuff like that. And right now we're here. Awesome. Yeah. So I want to show you a picture. You, yeah. you, you may have seen it, but yeah. I almost died uh, when I saw it. It was kind of making the rounds on on uh, social media. Ha, ha, did you ha, did you see ha, that? And I want I want to know what you, what your thoughts are on, hey, on well, that, I've seen it, I've on seen that it, picture. What, it. Do you, what did you think about that? I just when, laughed. When you, <laughs> I, just I saw laughed. that. I was like, because oh. I think it's funny. I yeah. think I think people are just. Too much, man. <laughs> they just do the most. You know what I'm telling you. Like they don't. People have no chill on the on the on the internet. You know what I'm telling you. So I mean, but it's just life, man. You know what I mean. Right now, now me they run town, but they let people want make a run down, run down. They want make a shut down. But tell them say I no go bow down. I don't become person of importance. Every day I bless you, now they see you in a bond down. Before we let you go, just fun, you know, couple of questions. Yeah. Five things you can't live without. Um, my laptop, <laughs> my laptop, the studio, money, <laughs> uh, my car, I call it swag juice, my drink, <laughs> swag my alcohol, juice? I call it swag juice. Okay. <laughs> uh, what about the girls though? You know? The girls? Yeah. I mean the girls are always there, you know what I mean? But you know what I mean? Yeah. The money is very important to get me, so we have to focus on what brought us here. <laughs> yeah. So if you were to choose between love or money, what would you choose? Yeah. I'll choose money. <laughs> Trust me, man. You got money, people will love you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? People will love you that. 
I'm telling so you. So you can buy love, is that what you're saying? In a way, yeah. <laughs> people people yes, people don't believe it, but I'm telling you it's true, man. But then it's not real love. Yeah, you but can buy it. But if imagine love with no money. You the love will be fed up now at the end of the day. <laughs> Love we get tired, but there's money. See, with with money, eh, love can endure anything. Mm. Do you get me? So I'm guessing. That's, yeah, I'm guessing that's what I believe. Is. We have it. to money first. Okay. <laughs> hey, I, I, I think I may be in support of that. I think. Yeah, I think yeah, I'll get back yeah. to you guys on that. <laughs> well, it's been great chatting with you, Skill. Thank you so much for Honored to be here. It was fun. Appreciate it. Was fun. Appreciate it. Definitely. You know, keep pushing. Keep keep growing. Most and we're definitely. looking forward to all the amazing things that are gonna happen yeah. for you. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay guys, that's all the time we have on the show today, but I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Awalani everywhere, everywhere in every city, making money every day. Lodi bed and lodi titi. Jack on, Jack on. Yes, y'all. I am Scales and you're watching EL now. Don't touch that dial. Let's go.